okay hello all like uh, in this video like we are going to uh, look at uh, another thing called for loops and of course into ranges and we'll be looking at something called even break and continue okay so we'll do that okay so uh yeah so so uh yeah so we have already seen a thing called while loop okay so yeah while loop is simple but it needs something to work one is it needs some kind of variable initialization so here we have put like this is a program to print 1 to 10 so we have kept a variable called i is equal to 1 usually why we keep a variable name i or something like that uh, in loop is i means iterate uh, like uh, usually it's you you need to keep variable names that when read uh, is very meaningful and all those stuff but the thing is like yeah this i is being used for very long in programming and people just accept it okay so that's how it is but for uh, perhaps for other variables and all you need to have a very proper variable name like iterator or something like that right but yeah in loop somehow people have accepted it uh, from time beginning and all those things so it's okay it's kind of tradition okay so we have put a thing called i is equal to one and we check a condition over here so the second thing while loop needs is a condition check right and the third thing it has is the loop body over here we are just simply printing it okay and the fourth thing uh, it has is like uh, what to say uh, the increment so i is equal to i plus one so this is what makes a while loop work okay so if you if you remove any one thing off, like things just go way messy, right? Let me just do it. Okay, I'm just removing this one off. And let me say shift, enter, that's it, gone. Like it's just going on and on. So I just need to shut down kernel, right? Okay, yeah, I just shut down kernel. But just look, look at the mess. Uh, it's just going on and on, right? so i don't know when it ends uh, it would have executed millions of times right so that's the thing right so uh, you just miss something in while loop and it just goes on and on and even if i put like okay like i is equal to i plus one and i plus is equal to one and and if i give a condition over here like uh what to say uh okay okay no yeah sorry I, I just got lost okay so if you just remove this one or do some mistake uh condition is wrong where it keeps it it is true all the times it just keeps running like anything it might even crash your computer depending on the environment sometimes it might crash a jupyter notebook in production system it might crash a program and all those things so these are all the problems with while loop. So almost every language has another thing called for loop. Okay, so we are going to look into for loop. Okay, so uh, that's the thing. Okay, so so okay, uh, let's look into for loop. And before that, there is a thing called ranges. I want to introduce right. So okay, let me just put this in my jupyter lab and almost nothing happens okay so uh so let me just put type of okay and and i just call this i don't call it one is to ten i call it one to ten okay so it says unit range so it means that like, like okay it is one to ten it, look from the name itself uh, from the type itself you can infer right so that's the thing and let me just try a program okay this program so over here what i'm just doing is this is a range okay so that's the thing and i have a, a, a variable i and let me just execute that's all i know okay after yeah now the output is there let me just explain right so while loop you saw there should be a variable initialization right uh, over here there is no variable initialization we are just saying like i in 1 to 10 and somehow i gets initialized to 1 initially okay right and in while loop you have okay a comparison statement over here no there is no comparison statement somehow this loop knows i is between 1 to 10 right 
okay so that's another advantage third is of course you have loop body over here we have loop body over here so rather than println we are putting print so if we put println all that thing happens is it just adds a new line okay that's it at the end okay so i just want this to be more concise so i'm just putting print okay so that's the thing and okay next is increment okay if you if we leave it out you just saw what happened right a big mess it could crash or something could happen and all those stuff over here there is no increment statement right and this is only three lines okay let me just put view line numbers this is only three lines and this is only six lines i think okay yeah this is only six lines right so uh now you can see the advantage of for it's more friendly it's more easy to use and uh, uh that's how it is right so this is the advantage of for loop okay and this is called as range okay so uh let me just explain like how to imagine range in your mind okay i'll just put array of range okay okay yeah array means it's it means like imagine like a rack in rack you're just putting some values so in first uh uh what to say there is racks okay in racks you're just putting in the first rack you're putting one two three and all those stuff so if you unpack this range you're getting like one one to ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay so that's what it really means over here okay right. so that's the thing we'll be looking into array shortly so but yeah this is what it means right and yeah uh, that's the thing and there is another thing called i will do something like uh, type of one two and ten step range it says okay step range okay so this is unit range the step is only unit over here this step is some other number actually it is two okay so it means like one and then step two means what two three and then another step two means four five another step two means six seven another step two means eight nine another step two means ten eleven okay the final ten eleven won't happen because it's going beyond this range okay so that's the thing so now let me just put this program and put the step range into it and see what happens right yeah if you do something crazy right okay if you just delete it or something just put Control Z or Command Z on Mac. Okay, I, I hate to say what to do in Mac, but yeah. So that's thing I'm using it, right? Okay, fine. Uh, so this is step range, and I'm just doing it. So as I said, like okay, it is one. Next step two is three. Once again, two steps is fine. Next is two steps is seven, and next is nine. And after that, it's finished. Okay, right okay uh the next thing we want to do is this thing called okay yeah i hope i've covered everything over here yeah oh yeah we are just printing like 5 to 100 okay so that's how it is right so, yeah i will put this blog in this uh video links that is description and all those things yeah another thing we'll just look into is breaks and continue okay like uh okay let me just put this into another thing breaks and continue okay so let me just uh, write the first program and uh, see what happens okay right fine so you just have a while loop right so this okay first let me comment it out okay yeah i didn't talk about comments Comments means you just press uh, control and forward slash. Okay, so control and forward slash means you can comment out. Okay, or command and forward slash in Mac. Okay, you can comment out. So let me just uh, do this. Yeah, it prints one to ten. Right. Okay. Right. Uh, now uh, let me just. Un okay. Yeah, I I'll do this in next one. so now i'm just uncommenting it so this is there right comment means it's it's as good as taking this out okay so that's the thing okay right 
now I'm uh, imagine like this code block is there and now I'm just printing it. Okay. So you have got almost same kind of output, but if you look, there's no six over here, right? So what really happens, right? So this is continuous statement, right? So okay, one, okay, first I will be zero, yeah, zero is less than ten. Now I will be one and it'll print I okay, right? And similarly, this if won't uh, get triggered unless and until i is equal to six. So when i is so it will keep printing from i is equal to one to five. Okay, when six comes, it will just say continue. Continue means once again go to the loop without even going to the next statement, right? So that's what happens. So when it's six, it just continues, and now i will be seven. And uh, okay, of course it won't come over here. Uh, it'll just go here, and yeah, that's like uh, what to say. It will print from 7, 8, 9, 10. So that's how continue works. Okay. So this is continue, right? So this is part of loop, right? So uh, breaks and continues are part of loops. Okay. So that's it. And yeah, this is a good break example. So rather than continue, we are just putting break. Okay. So uh, suddenly, if we meet, meet some condition in a loop and we want to stop, right? Break can be used. So it'll it, this is very similar to the last program but it just keeps on going but then uh okay like but then what happens is like when i is equal to six this one breaks okay so when i is equal to six it just breaks that's it so that's the thing uh don't worry about where i place print lane and the increment at all like uh, if you want yeah you can just swap and see what's happening and all those stuff so yeah so yeah that's left to you but uh, this video is about breaks and continues like not uh, not like um, not to explain what happens when some statements are put out of order in put in some order or not in some order inside a loop okay so if you want yeah export yeah and you need to export like even if you hear these videos thousands of times if you don't explore i think you won't get it okay so this is very similar thing uh, uh six won't be print uh, printed out uh, but we are just using for loop okay so there won't be any six okay this is a little bit more elegant right and uh, less amount of lines a little bit less amount of lines and similarly this is a break like we we'll break at six in for loop right so and if you see like uh look uh, this is where the for loop triumphs a bit like if you just look at the thing i need to make some hacks put i plus is equal to one over here for this one for break yeah i plus is equal to one over here for break but over here i plus is equal to one should be here for continue okay so so but in for loops no like that's not needed right so like it like not needed means yeah it's it's more elegant right so that's how it is so so trying to use for loops like in most of the cases uh, avoid using while loops but i think while loops are indispensable too like you can't avoid it under percent so uh next thing next video we will look at array tuples or tuples i don't know like uh people call it either way and comprehension i just forgot what comprehension is yeah now i remember <laughs> yeah so uh yeah we'll look at uh, these three or these two okay like uh, in next video possibly the three of them right Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you understood it well.